purpose of this video is to discuss the application of the use of stem cells to treat Stargardt's disease and one other, one other named condition, the nature of science for ethical implications of research, that research involving stem cells is growing in importance and raises ethical issues, and the application of ethics of therapeutic use of stem cells from specially created embryos from the umbilical cord of newborn babies and from, and from an adult. Stargardt's disease is a condition that develops in children between the ages of 6 and 12 due to a recessive mutation in DNA. This causes retinal cells in the eye to malfunction because of an active transport protein in the cell membrane not working properly. As a result, photoreceptors in the eye degenerate. Stem cells can be used therapeutically by injecting them into eyes, which end up regenerating healthy retinal cells. It improves vision, and research shows that these new cells are not rejected by the body. Leukemia is a type of cancer that produces abnormally large numbers of white blood cells. Cancer, in general, is just uncontrolled cell division. This type affects bone marrow tissue. Normally, there are between 4,000 and 11,000 white blood cells per cubic millimeter of blood. People who have leukemia have above normal levels of white blood cells. These can be at 30,000 white blood cells per mil cubic milliliter of blood, and in some cases, 100,000 plus white blood cells per cubic millimeter of blood. As a reference point, one milliliter is equal to 1,000 cubic millimeters. Stem cell therapy is a multi-step process. It begins by injecting a needle into a large bone to extract adult stem cells because patients have to undergo, undergo chemotherapy first. Chemotherapy is just injecting chemicals into the body that ends up killing any cells that are mitotically active or actively undergoing cell division. This is done to destroy excessive white blood cells. But white blood cells are needed to fight the disease. So as chemotherapy kills bone marrow, it loses the ability to produce new blood cells. So after a little bit of time, these stem cells are returned to the body and reestablished in the bone marrow to begin producing red blood cells and white blood cells. Stem cell research has been very controversial. Many ethical objections have been raised. Scientists should always consider the ethical implications of their research before doing it. Some of the research that was carried out in the past would not be considered ethically acceptable today, such as medical research carried out on patients without their informed consent. Decisions about whether research is ethically acceptable must be based on a clear understanding of the science involved. Some people dismiss all stem cell research as unethical but this shows a misunderstanding of the different possible sources of the stem cells being used. In the application, we will discuss the three possible sources of stem cells and the ethics of research involving them. Embryonic stem cells can be deliberately created by uh, in vitro fertilization and collected between the second and fourth cell divisions when the cell mass is between four to 16 cells. Some benefits of using embryonic stem cells is that they possess a near unlimited growth potential, meaning that they can divide and divide and divide and divide and divide. Uh, these cells can also differentiate into any cell type that is needed. There's also less chance of genetic damage, so the DNA is pretty well intact. However, on the other hand, embryonic stem cells have a higher risk of developing into a tumor. They're also likely to be genetically different from the adult patient receiving the stem cells for therapeutic uses. Also, removal of embryonic stem cells kills the embryo itself. Cord blood cells are extracted from the umbilical cord of newborn babies before it's discarded. These can be easily obtained and stored for long periods of time. Also, there's commercial services available to store them for when they need to be used. They're also fully compatible with the adult patient who is receiving them for therapeutic uses if those cord blood stem cells were extracted from that person's cord when they were a baby. However, 
cord blood stem cells have a limited capacity to differentiate into different types of cells. There's also limited quantities that can be obtained and the umbilical cord is discarded shortly after birth. So any cells that are left in the umbilical cord are lost. Lastly, adult stem cells can be found in some adult tissues like bone marrow. These cells have a lower chance of developing into tumors. They are also fully compatible with the adult patient receiving them for therapeutic use if they were extracted from him or her. And extracting these cells does not kill the adult donor. However, adult stem cells are very difficult to obtain because they're only found in limited places of the human body. They have less growth potential and a limited capacity to differentiate into different cell types. Generally, they will only be able to differentiate into cell types that the original tissue... See ya.